Hi my lucky clovers, I'm Blaze Clover and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you guys can see from the title, we're going to be doing a hair review. This hair review will be from Wiggins Hair. I'm pretty sure you guys be scrolling down Facebook or on Google or on YouTube. And then they just have their little commercial everywhere up in your face telling you to buy me, buy me, buy me. And of course, I'm just going to throw my credit card in your face because credit card. I'm just going to throw my credit card in your face because just take it. If you want my money, just if you want my money just say that but anyway let's get right into it i look so cute oh 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 i'm gonna attach clips wherever you guys see them i don't know where i'm gonna decide to put them but um i ordered a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig 250 density from wiggins hair for about 400 and i think 35 dollars and like one cent the, the at the time i ordered it they did have a discount so the discount i think it was like it took off like 31 dollars. So as cute and pretty as this hair looks and as great as it makes me look i would have to if i was to rate this hair i'd probably rate it um a five and that would be like a harsh a harsh five I like the pattern. I really love the wave pattern in this hair. Um, let me make you guys this. So there's nothing in it. It has not been moisturized. Oh, you guys probably can't hear me. My mic. Shredding. I feel like we shouldn't really do the shred test with um, hair that isn't a straight texture because you do have to comb it more. And for instance, if you just take your hair and just shove it in a bonnet, when you take it off, it's going to be very... Not very, but you're going to find some little knots, especially in the back area because it's everything is sitting right under your neck. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like HD lace, but it's really like it really blends. Like, I mean, I did put my um foundation and all the above on it, so it blends pretty nice. It's not like the regular lace where you have to try extra hard to make it blend. Um, it's very dry, but then again, that probably has a lot to do with the texture I got because I am supposed to wet it and then moisturize it and then decide to wear it with the wet look or decide to wear it with the puffy look. I honestly like the puffy look because this isn't curly hair, so it doesn't really have a curl to it. It's just a little wave um, because it is deep, loose wave. But that's pretty much all... That's pretty much all I like about it. Now, what I don't, what I don't like about it, I'm gonna tell you what I don't like. Okay. I feel as if, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel as if if I order a frontal wig, I should receive a frontal wig. Duh. And I know some companies, um, some companies make their wigs with their frontal wigs, which just a closure and two inches of frontal and then it's like tracks 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 i looked high and low for that description in i looked so high and low for that description in the um the description part on their website it did not say that two inches of frontal like i'm legit touching tracks this is a track right here this is all i have for lace this my track starts right here from here okay it starts here all the way down so that's not what i ordered and y'all know that is not what i ordered y'all was just being lazy and cheap so what i'm not understanding is how you guys took a month because you were customizing the hair and this is not even a frontal wig it's a it's an imitational frontal that's what i'm gonna call it imitational frontal but it is not a frontal wig um i'm highly upset about that because i wanted to do like that deep side part just like girl i mean i could still part it but see that's a track that is a track my deep side part would have to be right here i don't know about y'all but that's that ain't deep this is deep they did not give any and i was looking for like images of the wig when they turned it inside out so i could see that it's a closure because if this was what it was i would have never ordered it but um that's my that's pretty much the only problem with it if you want a frontal and you want to have a versatile hairstyle do not buy wiggins um the wig that they keep promoting this specific wig 
do not buy it if you want to switch parts and you want to style and you want to put some braids in there you want to do a half up half down this is not it because i really went to go get my hair done and i wanted to do like half up here and then the rest down right here but i can't do it clearly because this wig is not made for that it is an imitational frontal it is not a real frontal wig you're gonna be highly upset and now i want my money back and is somebody gonna get back to me i want it back but honestly don't waste your time um i'm very disappointed i thought i was gonna be at the beach with like a ponytail half up half down i thought i was really gonna be slaying this hair unfortunately i'm not gonna be slaying this hair because i don't know i was so excited to get a frontal so i can style it like i was so excited now it's like i i literally can only do a middle part like this is only good for a middle part and nothing more but um if you guys have the hair or you guys order the hair please let me know um wiggins i feel like there's nothing wrong selling a hair like this but i feel like if you're gonna put me through the trouble to put glue on my head from exhibit a to exhibit b why didn't you give me the rest of it what was the I reason just explained. i just explained the reason what was the reason because this is just a closure because i can't do nothing else with it and it had and it's, i feel like people get closures because it's it's not high maintenance but it's like why would you give me a closure that's high a high maintain a high maintenance closure like why would i want that and i hope that you guys have a different experience don't order this i feel like if you were gonna order if you want a frontal and you want this specific hair from wiggins that you've been seeing all over it's better off to order the bundles and then order the frontal because you're gonna get a full frontal and also you're gonna receive the amount of bundles you order when they make these wigs like this they put one bundle and a half and what they do is the wefts are thinner they're not the wefts we get when we when we purchase the bundles um and then they don't double track it they single track it so that they give you less hair because when this hair is wet it legit looks like one bundle i promise you when it's fully wet it is one bundle and i know bundles because i be wearing bundles um but yeah wiggins i'm sorry this one is a no for me um it's my first time purchasing from them and if this is the case i will never purchase hair from them but if you guys had a better experience and like there's hair that you like from them please let me know i just probably buy the frontal and then make the wig myself but Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for listening. Um, what else do I have to say? And guys, I'm definitely going to try to be more consistent on Netflix. You know what? Let me get out of here because I'm very consistent on Netflix. Okay, that's why I don't be posting. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and share this. Support is 100% free. Please comment. Let me know what you guys think about anything. Let me know what hair I should order so I can give you guys a review. I feel like people. I feel like everyone has paid reviews, so they don't really give honest opinions. This is not a paid review. So if there's a website you're skeptical about, like really skeptical, comment comment it down below, and I will order from them and then give you guys a real review. All right, bye. <laughs>